I'm James Earl with Local Motors, and we're 3D printing the car. In Cincinnati, Ohio, this industrial-sized 3D printer is in the process of making the shell of an electric car. The model that we're building is called Strati. The entire design and build process of the vehicle from our idea stage in May of this year to printing a car out in September is only four months. A traditional vehicle can take years to do the same thing. In 2013, a car known as the Irby by Core Ecologic became the first vehicle to have a 3D printed body. It took about 2,500 hours to print. The Strati by Local Motors took just 44 hours to print at a trade show in Chicago. For these upstarts, it's all about efficiency. Versus traditional manufacturing, so they take a big piece of metal and machine it down to get a small piece out. And usually their buy to fly ratio is like 20 to 1. They have to buy 20 pounds more material than they get out of it at the end, out of their usable part at the end. To us, it's very, very close to 1. We only put in as much material as we need. We'll machine off a little bit around the outside, but it's, it's almost 1, which reduces cost overall because you're not wasting all that material. Local Motors is taking the chassis, seats, door panels, and thousands of other components and 3D printing all those parts into just one piece made of a strong filament consisting of carbon fiber and ABS plastic. Drive components like the engine and wheels are added in later. A 3D printed car like ours will only have dozens of components versus a traditional car which could have thousands or tens of thousands of components. So each one of those components has a tendency for something to go wrong. You, you have the risk of something to fail and by reducing the overall complexity you increase the longevity of your, of your car overall. Earl estimates that in the near future a 3D printed car like the Strati could feasibly cost just $7,000 to manufacture. Despite this low cost, major automakers won't be making the jump from the assembly line to mass producing 3D printed cars anytime soon. The difficulty there is you're really only producing one vehicle at a time. And traditionally, there are factories now that are producing hundreds of vehicles a day, but they're working on hundreds of vehicles at a time instead of what we're doing, one vehicle at a time. So it's hard to see in the next 10 or 20 years that that's going to happen. But at the same time, the technology is expanding exponentially. So in 20 years, there may be an entirely new way of 3D printing that is quicker and faster than the way that they're making cars now. Rick Neff of Cincinnati Incorporated, the maker of the actual printer used by Local Motors, agrees. I don't think that this technology is going to basically take over what General Motors or Ford is doing today. But I think that Local Motors can have a nice small market segment for mass customized cars, maybe at a premium price, that this machine would be fabulous for. Major automakers have long been taking advantage of 3D printing for design and prototyping in particular. Ford is saving nearly half a million dollars in months of production time with just one 3D printed prototype part. Well, the reason why 3D printing is so revolutionary is because things that you used to be able to make years ago with hours and hours of processes can now be made very quickly. And you can get something that you can hold in your hand to represent a part or you can actually put it on a final product and use it. For the rest of us, the benefits of 3D printing are limited only by our imaginations. This process will allow consumers to really customize the vehicle that they want. Instead of going to a dealership and buying a car that they may make a couple different versions of, but is essentially the same vehicle as they made several hundred thousand of, you can make a vehicle for yourself. It's basically one off. Do the entire design, everything like that if you'd like to. Or we could have other customizable parts where you could go in and mold the car to fit you. So you take a 3D scan of your body and you could create custom fit seats that conform to your shape things like that that you couldn't do with cars now.